Welcome to Dangerous Prototypes. I'm Ian. This week, I'm super excited because we're finally launching our Sick of Beige standard PCB sizes and a couple simple cases. Sick of Beige is a set of standard PCB sizes that makes it easier to put a project in a case, but it also makes it easier to reuse a case. It defines a whole bunch of standard things to do on the board to make it easier to reuse it again and again. We've wanted cases for our projects for a long time, but usually what we come up with are ugly beige boxes, stuff like this. They aren't really standardized, and you know the designs change over time. Not only that, these ugly beige boxes hide your project inside. You know, when you've worked hard on a project, you want to take it to your hacker space, you want to show your friends, you want to say, look what I made. And these beige boxes just hide everything inside with this ugly beige coating. We wanted something better. So we looked all over the world. We looked in Akihabara in Tokyo, we looked in Chungachong in Seoul, we looked in Huachang Bay in, in Shenzhen, and everywhere all we found were these ugly beige boxes. We were so sick of beige that we decided to take matters into our own hands. We worked with DSM, one of our favorite case designers on the forum, to help make a standard PCB layout and set of rules that would make it easier for him and other case designers to make cases for our project. We came up with two standard PCB shapes, one square, the other's rectangle and follows golden ratio proportion. The boards are all sized to fit into the free version of CAD Soft Eagle, but also to use the inexpensive PCB prototyping services available from Seed and other places. Here's all the golden rectangle sizes. Each size increases by 10 millimeters or 1 centimeter up to the maximum size of, of CAD Soft Eagle. The standard defines the obvious things like the pretty corners and the location and size of mounting holes, but we went a step further. We added some keep out recommendations on the edge, that way if a case mounts to the edges, is there's appropriate clearance there. Also some things like suggested midlines and a suggested location for a USB mini B jack. That way cases that use USB can be recycled for new projects with minimal effort. Having a standard is great, but the important thing is it's easy to use. Now if we've got the standard and we still have to lay it out on our PCB every time we make a board, it's just going to take too much time and be too much of a pain to be worth it. It has to be absolutely effortless to use. So what we did was we came up with a CAD Soft Eagle library, you know, a template. And all you do is drop the template onto your schematic and then the right size and dimension board automatically appears. Then you just route on top of that and you know your board is following the Sika Beige uh, standard. And it should fit most of the standard cases that, you know, have all the stuff at the right place. So we're in the process of redesigning all of our projects to use these standard PCB templates. The first one out was the Buzz Pirate version 3.6 with nice rounded corners and a standardized shape. For this one we use the DP6030 board, that means it's 60 millimeters one way and 37 millimeters on the short edge. This is probably our most popular uh, standard PCB board. We've also used it on the Bus Pirate version 4 here and also on the LCD adapters that we discussed last week in our video. Some new projects are also getting the treatment. Here's the uh, Part Ninja that's using a standard board. And here's the ATX breakout board, which uses the Eagle Maximum. It's not quite golden ratio, it's 100 millimeters by 80 millimeters. It's still a rectangle, but it's, it's a little larger than the ideal golden rectangle. But it does fit the Eagle Maximum allowed size for free boards. Now, of course, the point to all of this is to make it easier to put projects in cases. So now let's talk a little bit about our first case. This one we're calling Sika Beige Basic Case Version 1. It's, it's nothing special. It's just intended to demonstrate the Sick of Beige templates and sort of the idea behind it. Uh, it's two laser cut acrylic sheets. They're 2.5 millimeters thick. The board is held in the middle with aluminum standoffs and a couple screws. Inside the middle we've got the template board with all the dimensions and stuff on it. Now this isn't much of a case. You've seen this design a million times. It's, it's very easy to make and you see it on the internet all the time. Uh, it's just laser cutting two pieces of plastic and, and mounting the PCB in between. But it's a decent solution to keep the bottom of your board from shorting out on things and protect fingers from getting into the circuit, but it doesn't provide any protection on the side. The important thing though is unlike an ugly beige box, this is clear. So now when you go to the hacker space you can show your friends what you've been working on. Here's a version of the same case cut up for the Bus Pirate version 3.6. It's the same exact thing, it's just got a hole cut for the Bus Pirate I.O. header. This will work for any recent production Bus Pirates version 3.6 or above. The cases are available at Seed now as a kit. They come in little baggies with the two slabs and all the parts you need. And most importantly, they're really inexpensive. Both kits are available for $3 each. We'll have more kits as time goes on, and we hope to soon have kits for all of the major popular Sika Beige board sizes, both the rectangular ones and the square ones. Every board is unique and has headers and buttons and stuff in different places. So one case isn't going to fit every board despite the standardized shape. 
So next Wednesday we'll have a tutorial on using Google SketchUp to make your own Sick of Beige case customizations and then you can get it cut with cheap laser cutting services. Uh, we used to use uh, somewhere in the US and it cost us about $100 per order for our laser cuts. But now C Studio is offering really inexpensive laser cutting services. Uh, for these cases we prototyped these for less than $15 each. You can get a set of five laser cut sheets, I think it's six or seven dollars. Really inexpensive. And we'll have more on cutting your own case next week. The simple cases are inexpensive and easy to put together, but let me show you what we've got planned for the future. This is something called Scheme G, and it was developed by DSM in the forum. Here we've replaced the aluminum standoffs and screws with 3D printed standoffs. And now, instead of using screws to hold it together, we're using magnets. So the top can pop off just like that. This is an even better case for showing off of the hacker space. You can show your friends all the awesome electronics you've been working on. Then you can just pop it open, hack away, and when you're done, it just snaps back together. It doesn't get much easier than that. These are 3D printed. If we did a lot of them, eventually we'd probably want to mold it. But for the first few batches of cases, we're going to go ahead and use 3D printing. Unfortunately, 3D printing doesn't get cheaper as the volume goes up. It stays fairly consistent. So it's going to be a much more expensive case. But if it's popular, we'll go ahead and have an injection mold made. So this week we finally introduced our Sick of Beige PCBs. We've been talking about them for a while and the documentation's been on the blog, but we're really excited to make a video about it and officially post all the materials up. A huge thanks to DSM for helping us design the standard, but also contributing great things like the Scheme G standoffs. An Eagle library with templates for all these board sizes is available for download below. That way you can get started making your own standard PCB boards right away. Currently there's two case kits in stock at Seed Studio. One's a blank case that fits the 60 by 37 size board. The other is cut for the Bus Pirate version 3.6 which also uses the 60 by 37 millimeter board. Later today we'll post the full Sika Bay specification as well as a how-to on making the simple cases. Next Wednesday we'll show you how to laser cut your own case and submit it to a cheap laser cutting service. Next week we'll also be at the Maker Faire Singapore, but we'll still be back here with the Bus Blaster version 3 build video. Of course, the week after that, we'll have full coverage of our trip to Singapore, including a tour of local electronics markets and coverage of the Maker Faire. Thank you for watching. See you next week.